Hey guys, I'm Mohamed Sechuk Obilago. Welcome to another awesome video. I buy and sell crypto. Okay, so I want to talk about the ETF. Okay, because everybody's jumping out that ETF has been approved. At least I think it's 11 spot ETFs have been approved. BlackRock, ARK, and some other um, companies that apply for the ETF. Grayscale, which was the leading party who started all this spot etf okay and i know that the next etf that will be approved has to do with ethereum okay so now to the layman most people don't understand the etf like how does it play how does it work okay now remember if you want to buy bitcoin before if you want to invest bitcoin you have to buy actual bitcoin which means is that you buy and store it in your decentralized wallet or you go to a centralized exchange and buy it okay buy it and store it there or you buy it from a merchant like me and store it in some decentralized or centralized wallet so which means you are owning custody you have so custody of your asset because you have the login process to your centralized account or you have the seed phrase to your decentralized account now what an ETF does is that it allows people to trade the same Bitcoin but without ownership. So which means that let's say people are buying Bitcoin on a spot ETF platform. That Bitcoin that they are trading is stored in a custodian wallet in any exchange. That exchange could be Binance, Coinbase, M2 exchange that was newly launched in Abu Dhabi. Are you get what I'm saying? So basically what the the owners of the spot ETF will do is that they will make sure that the amount of bitcoin that is being traded on the platform that there is an equivalent of it in their portfolio in their custodian wallet. You get the point now? So which means you guys are basically trading Bitcoin without actually owning the Bitcoin. So you're trading off the price of Bitcoin. You get it? So how does this now impact the price of Bitcoin? Let me explain. How it implies, uh, how it impacts the price of Bitcoin is that, well, let's say the exchanges or the companies that, you know, announce this Bitcoin, let's say they have a hundred Bitcoin. And as institutional investors are like institutional investors like hedge funds, different hedge funds all over the world are buying into the uh, buying like into the shares of uh, the spot ETF. Let's say Ark has one thousand Bitcoin, for example. Okay, so which means that all these companies or individuals that are coming to trade the spot ETF will be buying a share of that one thousand dollar Bitcoin. So which means if everybody buys it and people are trading and it happens that there is more demand for what ARK Invest has in the custodian wallet it will lead ARK Invest to have to go and increase their holding of Bitcoin okay so this is what will gradually drive the price of Bitcoin to go up it won't go up overnight of course there will be a reset I you what I'm saying so, but the thing there is that Bitcoin has entered mainstream finance where corporate bodies can participate without having the risk of owning a coin or owning a, a, a decentralized wallet or having it stored on a centralized exchange because they can trade it just like they trade stocks. Are you getting what I'm saying? Just like they trade stocks. So, they are trading the shares of the bitcoin in the custodian wallet of the company that has the spot etf so you as an ordinary investor what you can do is simply just have a strategy to buy bitcoin okay let's say you want to be interested in bitcoin and bitcoin is mainstream or you're interested in ethereum before the spot etf is approved what you can do is you start either buying weekly monthly daily have an amount that you can afford that you don't need to recall every single time you have an emergency okay that is one number two is that you can decide to buy a particular amount of bitcoin and put it on a trading bot that will be trading for you buying and trading for you buying and trading for you if the asset happens to go up it will the value of your coin will also go up okay so these are the things you can do you can do more than this 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Because the truth is, nobody knows what the price is going to be tomorrow, when it's going to increase tomorrow. But one thing about sure, I'll show about Bitcoin is that as the Bitcoin supply keeps reducing, it will make it a scarce commodity, and that will definitely drive the price to go up, but it won't grow up overnight. Okay? So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you, I made sense in my video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section or DM me, okay? Or contact me on WhatsApp. Till I see you guys next time, take care and bye for now.